is being enacted to show how Tura Borman College came into being. It was the hard work and perseverance of our founding fathers that has given shape to this college. Let us now go back down memory lane. The necessity of opening the first ever institute of higher learning in Garo Hills region was first felt when the Garo Hills District Council was born in the year 1950. Convinced of this dire need of the art, a noble venture for Tura College was initiated with full enthusiasm and cooperation from a few political leaders and leading citizens of Tura. The premier college took its final shape in 1955 under the patronage of late Captain W. A. Sama, who was the chairman of the first governing body, late Modi Himara, as its president, late Ramdan Jimoman, late Emerson Sage Moman, late Harrison W. Moman, late Simison Sangma, late Solini Jimoman. Late Doris Sage Moment and few others who were actively involved in this project. Unfortunately, the college had to be closed down in 1956 due to paucity of funds and other problems. However, the failure in its first attempt could not extinguish the determination to restart the college by the then leaders. The project was revived in the first meeting on 21st July 1958 where late Modi Kemara, the then chief executive member of Barrow Hills Autonomous District Council, disclosed the assurance given by the Assam government to sanction a sum of rupees 20,000 for the reopening of the college. Thus, the inaugural meeting of the college was held at the Government Training School on 9 September 1958. With a small gathering comprising members of the sponsoring body and a few students, the meeting was presided over by Nate Modi Kemara, who was the president of the governing body of the college. At the time, the students were mostly from the deputy commissioner's office and hence the college functioned as a night college to cater to the students. The classes initially commenced with two lecturers, late R. N. Data, and late Rani George, and a few students in the first and second year intermediate arts. Since then, the college was popularly known as Tura Night College. The college had to face many problems with the shortage of basic amenities like water and electricity. Classes were taken under the flickering lights of the kerosene lamps as there were no provision for electricity. Shortage of funds was also a major deterrent to the growth of the college. The students under the supervision of late Dr. P. Seeker and late R. M. Data used to visit the weekly markets with donation boxes in an attempt to raise funds for the college. After struggling to keep the college afloat, even with all its shortcomings, 
96 students were enrolled out of which only 12 students appeared for the final year examination in 1965. It was indeed a momentous step for the college when it could start the day shift even with a handful of full-time students in 1964. The college has since then progressed in leaps and bounds and has completed 63 years from its humble beginning through the hard work and dedication of our forward-thinking founding fathers and all the teachers, both past and present. Thank you.